since the second year in my school, I was exploring uh, docu-fiction, actually, so this border between documentary and fiction, and some of my work is related to that. And now I'm on uh, PhD studies, and my next project, the, the, the long, the feature film, will be also uh, this kind of uh, uh, conflict between uh, documentary scenes and, and totally created and fictive world. So that's something I've always been interested in. For, for instance, I don't use actors in my, in my films. I never use them. I, I don't say that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something that fits for my um, view of cinema. And uh, so I like to use uh, real characters and to, to put them in, to play themselves actually, most of the time. So I, I think maybe that's because, uh, hmm, because I believe that uh, everybody can be an actor, actually. And everybody can, but you have to find the, 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 the real uh, role for everyone. So I just, you know, for this film, I just found two, two refugees and that's the documentary part of it. So these subjects, I, I, like, to, I like to explore invisible people. That, that's what I like to do. So my first documentary was about this uh, homeless guy in uh, my friend from, from the street in Belgrade. So I like to, 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 when I like some people and when I, um, I just want to, to, to show this kind of people to the world, you know, because they're really invisible, totally invisible. And I don't know if they have some chance to, to break through, you know. So, but, it's not the only thing, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things to say about this, but I just spend time with them, you know, and we just talk and something is born out of that, you know. I mean, of course, I have a plan of shooting and all of that, but sometimes on the set, I just totally change everything, you know, and we ju I just decide, for example, to follow this, these people, just to, to follow them and to, to show an Im the real image of them. So we are really flexible on the shooting. I think that's good for the product. I think this area is very nice for cinema because it's, uh, uh, this city, because it's, uh, mm, it looks a bit medieval with this, uh, walls and with this fortress and that's something which is always mystical so it's a good place for for cinema I think